Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail how to how to generate a random sample of cases uh, within IBM SPSS statistics. Uh, and for this particular demonstration, we're going to rely upon the employee data set that comes pre-packaged uh, in the sample data file uh, that comes along with IBM SPSS statistics. And like in previous videos, let me just give you a quick overview of the variables that are that are defined within the employee data set. Uh, the first variable is just an ID number. Okay, so each record within the data set uh, has an ID number associated with it. The ID number is listed down the first column. Uh, the second variable in the data set is the gender variable, uh, where gender is defined has two levels of measurement. You're either female or you're male. Uh, the third variable in the data set represents a, an individual or a particular case's a birth date. Uh, the next variable is an individual's education level. The next variable is job category, where there's three levels of measurement. You're either a clerical officer, you're either a custodial officer, uh, or you're a manager. Uh, the next variable after job category is the salary variable. Uh, that's your current salary within this particular organization. Uh, the variable that follows salary is sal begin, which represents the salary that you begun on or that you started with when you joined this organization. Uh, the next variable is job time. How many months have you been within this organization? Uh, the next variable is previous experience. How many months of previous experience had you got before joining this organization? And the final variable is minority status, uh, whether you're a member of a minority race or not. Okay. But anyway, this particular video is going to just is going to be uh, quite straightforward. What we'd like to do is we'd like to select a random sample of cases. Don't forget, a case is a particular record within within this particular data file. So we'd like to select a random a random sample of cases from the total number of cases that we have here, the total number of records, which is there's 474 individuals or employees within this organization. Okay, and just to keep it simple, let's say for argument's sake that we'd like to select. 25% of those employees, those 470, those 474 employees, we'd like to select 25% approximately. Okay, So we'd like to randomly sample 25% of the 474 employees. And this is straightforward. What we do is we go to the data menu. Okay, uh, We select the data menu. We get a drop-down list. Uh, we go down to select cases. So we're going to choose select cases. Uh, but this time what we're going to select is we're going to select a random sample of cases. So we're going to choose random sample of cases. Okay? And then we're going to hit the sample button. And we're going to tell SPSS approximately what percentage of all cases we would like to select. Now in our case we're going to select 25% of cases. Okay? Now we could tell SPSS to select an exact number of cases from the first so many cases. For example, I might want to select, let's say, 100 cases from the from the 474 cases that we have. Okay. In this case, what this will do is it'll randomly select 100 cases from the 474 cases. But I don't want that. I'm just going to randomly select 25% of all the cases that we've got defined within this particular data set. Okay. So let's just cancel that here. Let's just go back and let's just run through this once more. Okay. So I'd like to select 25% of all the cases in this data set. So I go to the data menu, I drop down, I come to select cases, I choose random sample of cases, I then choose the sample button, and then I say approximately what percentage I'd like to choose. I'd like to choose approximately 25%, okay? And I hit continue. Now, what would we like to do with them 25%? Well, maybe what we could do is we could filter out all the unselected cases. We could copy this 25% to a different data set. And maybe that's what I'll do is I'm going to copy these to a new data set. And I'm going to call this data set my random random sample one. Random sample okay, of employees. Employees. Let's make employees with a capital A. Employees one. Okay. For my first random sample. Okay. I'm just going to hit OK on that. That should create a new data set for me called random sample employees one. So I'll just hit OK. And what we get is we get a new data set pops up. Okay. Actually, let's just see, has this opened up here? If I just scroll down, 
this is the original data set with 474 uh, observations. Let's just check what file came up here. And you can actually see here that untitled because I haven't saved it. Yeah, so I'm just going to click on this one here. And here's the random sample. It's a random sample of employees one. And actually when we scroll down, what we can actually see is that we have 124 employees have been selected from the 474 employees that were in the, in the original data set. Uh, let's order these data based off ID number. So I'm going to go to, uh, let's say if we go to data, we're going to sort cases. We're going to sort cases based off ID number in ascending order. Let's just hit OK on that. And what we do is we get our sorted cases. Okay, So you can actually see that uh, the case, the the first individual that has ID 1 was selected, which was a male. Uh, the second individual that was selected had ID 2, which was a male. And then it skipped 3, 4, and 5, but select, selected the person that had ID 6, and so on. And you can see the random, the randomness, well, maybe it's hard to see the randomness, the randomness of these numbers here. But really the point I'm trying to make here is that, actually, the selection that's been made here of the... 134 cases yeah have been selected across all observations okay so uh, once again guys this was jonathan lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the national college of ireland and i hope this video detailing how to uh, select a random selection of cases from a data set within spss i hope this video was somewhat helpful okay once again thank you